Hi, welcome to the Southern Region Market Watch, brought to you by RBI, Real Estate Business Intelligence, an MRIS company. We're going to dig into the most recent numbers from the Southern Region housing market, which includes the counties of King George, Orange, Rappahannock, Spotsylvania, Stafford, Madison, Culpeper, Caroline, and the city of Fredericksburg. Despite some choppy waters in August, there have been noteworthy shifts occurring on both sides of the closing table. Buyer activity is moving back in line with historical trends. Falling supply indicates that market balance is realigning towards neutral. Locally, a few indicators posted positive movement over August 2010, but do the rest of the numbers provide reason for optimism? Pending sales increased 10.4% from last August to arrive at 530 for the month. Sales volumes have come back in line with typical levels for this time of year. Keep in mind that the 2010 slowdown extended into the second half of the year as Uncle Sam's credit changed summer and fall buyers into spring chickens. The gains in buyer activity meant fewer active listings were left on the market. Inventory levels were down 24.1% to 2,639 units. Assuming that trend continues, it should lessen any oversupply issues down the road. Prices were down from last year. The median sales price decreased 10.8% to $194,000. Since they lag behind changes in demand, prices were elevated at this time last year due to the purchase incentive. A few short years ago, sellers in many markets were faced with steep competition from bank-owned properties. They found themselves discounting the price of their nest egg to make their properties competitive in home searches. Fueled by a mixture of caffeine, low interest rates, and a couple of tax credits, value-minded consumers began absorbing distressed housing inventory. The situation has eased somewhat, particularly in the most desirable neighborhoods. Currently, on average, sellers are receiving 93% of their list price, down from the 93.8% they saw last year. The economy bobbed along just this side of positive in August. Consumer confidence, which often affects housing demand, showed some slack even as personal income and spending both increased modestly. Low interest rates, declining supply, and stabilizing price movements are beacons of hope in the harbor, but the recovery still needs wind in its sails. That's the Southern Region Market Watch for this month. Check back next month for the latest. Thank you.